Google's Bard can now see. Anthropics Claude 2 has three times ChatGPT's context limit. The open-sourced community continues to progress with the current leader Falcon 40B model, all while ChatGPT still struggles to scale and removes new features as fast as they are releasing them. A new language model from Anthropic outperforms over 90% of college applicants on reading and writing sections of the GRE exam. Flexing proudly with a 100k token limit, GPT-4's 32k limit is looking small AF. Built-in ability to upload text, PDF, CSV and more file types means no plugins needed for long boy prompts. The far girthier context limit means Claude can engage in much longer conversations. Unlike most of the other free competitors to ChatGPT, Claude is impressively fast, even on prompts with over a hundred page PDFs attached. Looking at Bard AI, it has been seeing updates almost every two weeks since release four months ago. In early June, Bard improved math capability by letting itself run Python code in the background to complete complex math equations. While OpenAI keeps us all safe from GPT-4's multimodal abilities. Yesterday, Bard was actually given this ability to see images. Anyone can upload an image and ask Bard questions about the images. Unfortunately, we can't use images with humans in the photo, but it beats waiting three months for nothing. While OpenAI turns the code interpreter off and on like a toddler playing with a light switch, Bard also received the ability to export code directly to Google Colab, which is overall a far more powerful programming interface than the GPT-4 code interpreter that's anemic in Python packages. We also have countless teams of open source developers pushing the bar forward for free to use language models every week. The demand for a fully open-sourced language model is huge. Whether privacy, price, or control of the AI is of interest, OpenAI will never be able to meet this market's needs. The state of AI in 2024 is certain. AI will be far more advanced at this rate of improvement. The only question is, what will be the state of OpenAI?